One of my goals for 2020 is to keep growing this plant. Hashtag plant mom. My goal is to take more pictures of random objects. One of my goals is to scroll less. Ooh, I just got a notification. My goal is to get more sleep. And my goal is to get up early and go for a jog every single day. Come on, let's go. Hey guys, and welcome back to Growing Up Godly. And welcome to 2020. 2020. Today we're going to be doing a video kind of sharing what our goals for this year are and maybe encouraging you all to make some of your own goals. It's always great to be able to share your goals with your friends and family and even you guys so that we can be kept accountable and we're hoping that by the end of the year we can have a goal update and that you guys will do it with us. You'll make some goals and have a goal update at the end of the year as well. So let's go. So this year I decided to have kind of like main main goals for the entire year but also do monthly goals because i feel like they're more attainable and it's more exciting to have something like new and fresh to work on and hopefully it doesn't take more than a month to work on something so i guess i'll share uh, my january goal for this month is to be an active listener to really listen to what someone's saying instead of just thinking about what i'm going to say next and that goes in my prayer life too like not just saying Oh God, I need this and I need you to work on this. It's just having time to listen to what God has to say to me. And that includes abiding in his word and um, being still in his presence. So for me, I'm doing my goals more of what you could call the traditional way, where I just have a couple of goals that I've written um, down. I think they're more mentally uh, <laughs> goals that I have for the year. So one of the goals is to read more. Um, the past like two or three years I've just been reading strictly for school because I've had so much reading to do in my textbooks that I haven't gotten to do reading for fun and so I really want to get back into reading and having a love and a desire for reading so I'd like to do one book every month so I'm hoping to do that um, as well as writing more so for most of you guys know this I have a blog and I usually would write about once a month in it but it definitely got to be once every two months um, <laughs> lately just because I've been so busy. But I'm really hoping to pour more into that and possibly even to do it more frequently than once a month. Mm -hmm. We so can't wait to read it. <laughs> those are like my two big goals for the year. Um, so I, I mentioned that I did have a big goal for the entire year. And I just um, summed it up kind of in three words. Intentionality, intimacy, and growth. And those are kind of like... The three things that are going to guide my decision making this year, or at least I'm praying will, which it re really should be intimacy, intentionality, and growth because intimacy is first. And that's just um, intimacy in my relationship with God and also being more intimate with my friends and the people around me, having deeper relationships and really diving into the word together, but mostly intimacy in my relationship with God to be able to grow. Um, and then intentionality. I know there's a lot of things that I'm like, oh, I should do this or I probably need to do this, but really being intentional and saying, okay, the buck stops here. I'm not making any more excuses. I'm just gonna do what I know God is calling me to do and being very intentional about today. Okay, today I'm getting up. If I'm gonna spend time with God, that's not a decision. That is a habit. I'm being intentional about doing that every single day, no matter how busy I may be. Um, and then lastly, growth. This is kind of what everyone wants in a New Year's resolution, but to grow, grow physically, grow spiritually, grow mentally, but um, more importantly, grow in my relationship with Christ and relationships with others. So I'm going to kind of have those three words in the back of my mind, I'm hoping this entire year. And then those are going to influence my monthly goals and then my daily decisions about how I want to live my life for the next year. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. This video was kind of short and sweet, but we've been spending a lot more of our time instead of filming and pouring into our videos for the month of January. We've just been thinking about the rest of the year. And speaking of that, we would love for you guys' help. We have a lot of great ideas, but we know you guys probably have great yes. ideas too. Mm -hmm. So if you have any videos you would like us to do or any ideas that you have for 2020, comment them down below or visit our Instagram and comment on our latest picture. Also, if you'd like to hear more about how we create our goals, make sure and click that I button up there. We did a video on it a little while back. We'll see you guys in two weeks. Bye. Bye. And finally, one of my goals for 2020 is to not get upset so easily. 
All right, you wanna get some cake? Actually, I ate the last piece earlier. It was so good. Ugh. You ate the last piece? That was my piece! 